and welcome back to this uh, day of the Tentacle Remastered uh, Let's Play. Uh, I just altered the volume a tiny bit, so hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to hear me. Um, and what I thought is that these shattering teeth we probably want to send to uh, Hoagie. Um, and that's probably about it for now. Oh, well, one of the sons are left handed, so why not? Go ahead and see if they would like the... I believe this was a left-handed hammer, yeah. Or mallet or hammer, yeah. Let's see if that actually works. Uh, and we have the decaffeinated uh, coffee for uh, the doctor. Let's see, was it in here? Yes, okay. Because he's using the right, his right hand. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see if this works. Yeah. Oh no! I've lost it! Where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. <laughs> I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. That's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. <laughs> okay, so something needs to happen for them. Well, that's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. Okay, okay. Well, at least it was an option. Uh, yes, yeah, so that it's easy to get to the items if we need. To, if I notice anything that ought to be switched. And uh, let's head over here-ish, just so that we are by the outhouses. There we are, okay. Uh, so let's see. Thanks. I needed a little pick-me-up. <laughs> Must open safe. <laughs> Must sign contract. Must provide for family. Uh, okay. Interesting. A, a camera thing for that, so with the change statue. Hmm. Open. Thank you. Uh, let's see. 
see if will it like push her out. Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. <laughs> okay. Uh, could we then do this to record the professor? Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you. Upstairs. I don't think I can pick that up. Do this some um Doctor Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you. Upstairs. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. I don't think I can pick that up. Okay. Oh, we got that. Okay. Hold on. Let's try opening the safe. I'd rather not. Mm -hmm. Open. Let's see, it's 101 99957. Hey, works. <laughs> Actually, look at first. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. <laughs> the party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. Okay, well let's close that. Should we close that as well, I suppose? Uh, let's see if he's back down here or... No. Mm, okay, that's not good. Is that a W390B frivolous spending report? 
No, it's another 561 AB negative attention statement. Ah. Uh, what did you say your wife's name was again? Sandy. Oh, yeah. Good thing we've got Dr. Fred under wraps in the next room, huh? All that red tape ought to keep him busy. Say, what's the filing date for a BFD 206ZZ and sufficient credit applications for him? You have until midnight on the 12th working day past the first full moon after the end of your fiscal year. Dr. Fred's lying on the bed wrapped in red tape. However, you can extend the date by filing an RPM 78 waning interest extension any time before the close of business on the second Tuesday after the first Friday of March. Very much uh, stereotypical. Um, IRS folk, that felt like. Let's see, I believe this was where there were a chimney. Let's see if we can get up top. Let's see. I can't, it's stuck. Stuck. I'd rather not. It's already open. Or can we? Seems to have a high tensile strength. It's already open. Really? <laughs> it's blocked up with somebody's bed. Okay. Well, let's go back inside. I think not. Max Addox, his petard runneth over. A lamentable fate for such a patriotic dude. <laughs> uh, 
Is that like the... I haven't played the game, but is that like the Mad Max... Uh, like point and click character? I'd rather not. Okay, well, what's the point? Uh, well, I suppose we will go to... Head over to the girl and see what kind of trouble she's in then. Since there isn't anything else that seems like obvious. I can't move it. Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. I think they're both cheating. <laughs> I think they're both cheating. I just want to pat his little head. Go ahead, make my day. <laughs> Probably Mark. Hey, they can cheat, you can't. <laughs> Best not bother them, they're busy cheating. <laughs> Dr. Fred, is that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human race. Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Ved. Huh. Huh. Nice to meet you. How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? <laughs> Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. <laughs> What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only... human. <laughs> okay. Um, well, let's try talking to the guard. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? I have 
have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Hmm. I'm afraid he'd overpower me. Okay. <laughs> Plug. Okay. Okay, so clearly we need more items. Um, that one we can probably use. Um, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. That up. There we go. Uh, there it is. Oh. Uh, scalpel for you, I suppose. I don't want to cut that man. I don't want to cut that man. Really? E. Just send that over and see what happens. Okay. Actually, is that an open window? It's already open. <laughs> I think I need to plug that in, but I don't think it's long enough to reach anywhere. Okay. Hold well on. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. When induction elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Please, I'm bored enough already. Hmm. That's one of the few places where fake barf isn't useful. <laughs> I don't think so. That's one of the few places where fake barf isn't useful. I think not. Mm -hmm. Another try. Ouch. Uh -huh. So that's how they keep us here. Um, let's just try saying we don't feel too good. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you going to use your scalpel? 
No, of course not. Darn. <laughs> hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. <laughs> what a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh, sit. Stay. Good boy. Okay. That's one of the few places where fake barf isn't useful. Interesting. That's one of the few places where fake barf isn't useful. That's one of the few places where fake barf isn't. That's one of the few places where fake barf isn't useful. That's one of the few. Hold it. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. I wish I had some sort of tentacle disguise. Uh -huh, so that's what we're doing. Fair enough. Okay, well, then I have a slight idea of what we are doing. Um, but, yeah. And thank you very much for watching, and when we come back we will try to put this uh, tentacle shot... Uh, Send it to Hoagie and give it to the seamstress. Or however you say that. But yeah, until next time. Take care and uh, see ya.